Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It's all about Lisa Eldridge and her fabulous, wonderful lipsticks. I grabbed four of her just released lipsticks. I have two different formulas. We've got uh, different uh, saturations, okay? We've got different finishes. We've got a bright one, we've got a nude, we've got moody. Okay, so I'm giving you a little bit of everything. I'm also gonna be giving you some comparison swatches with other Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that I have closest to the ones that I'm trying on today. And as an added bonus, I'm trying out two of the lipsticks as blushes, okay? So if you wanna see what's on uh, my lips and cheeks and what this cute thing is on my head, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before I jump in, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I'm rocking our dark brown boho head wrap. This one, we only have a few left in stock. I am a fan of browns instead of black sometimes. Black is the more obvious. I am a New Yorker. We are known to just be, you know, we love our blacks, but I like brown to kind of switch it a little bit now, okay? I, I do love brown, and I love brown on brown skin, and so this is a really nice color, and for me, it works all year round. Long piece of stretchy fabric. Fashion it into any style you want. Dress them up, dress them down. They come in over 20 colors and prints, so there's definitely something there for everyone. So if you want to check out any of our boho head wraps, just visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. Okay, so let's jump into this Lisa Eldridge video. I am super excited whenever she releases new product. And an FYI, let me know in the comments below if you'll be interested. Not that that's gonna stop me from doing it. I'm probably going to do a, a full Lisa Eldridge lipstick try on. I have amassed a lot at this point. And I think I just wanna do a Lisa Eldridge video where I'm just trying them on and I'll swatch them and we'll kind of zoom through the different colors. But let me know in the comments below if you're interested. Okay, so today I have four new lipsticks for you. Super excited. I have three uh, luxuriously lucid lip colors and I have one insanely saturated color that I'm going to get to. So we've got some stuff to dig into. I believe there are now five uh, insanely saturated colors and 14 um, luxuriously lucent lip colors. So she just released them a few days ago and as always, um, there are colors for everyone. She's completely thorough in her uh, in her product reveal video. So if you don't check those out, check those out before you purchase. Really, really thorough. She shows you the different ways to wear things, and she always has pictures available of the different skin tones in the uh, video, but you can also find those on her site. Again, very thorough. You will see different skin tones in all the different shades so you can gauge how it might look on you. I love that she's always so inclusive. And yeah, let's start swatching uh, the first one and just start trying things on. I haven't put on blush yet because I'm going to use one of the lipsticks to zhuzh up the face, okay? And um, I have on my Lisa Eldridge foundation, which has become absolutely one of my favorites. It just does not let me down. It doesn't transfer. It does do wonders throughout the day, so your face looks better and better as the day gets on. And the, um, the foundation sets, I just cannot say enough. And I have on my Lisa Eldridge highlighter as well. So we're just waiting for that blush on the cheeks from one of these lip colors. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with Night Thoughts, which is described as a creme de cassis, a, a black cherry hue that suits all skin tones. Look how pretty that looks. It looks brown, doesn't it? It looks dark brown, but it's not. Look at this beautiful, beautiful berry shade. And if you've seen me try on lipsticks before, you know I love a moody berry color. So this is right up my alley. Let's see what they're saying about look. If you're not familiar with this formula, the luxuriously lucent color, let's see what they're saying. It's a sheer to semi-sheer building coverage lipstick with a satin finish. It delivers with one swipe. You can build the color to create a more radiantly polished look. So with one swipe, she's saying that this one should look like a, like a, a, a bitten, like you just bit your lip, barely there bitten uh, lip color. So I'm excited. I'll swatch it on uh, lightly first, and then I'll go in again so we can see how much we can build it up. Let's get this one on.
Okay, I absolutely love this shade and I love it with that one swipe, almost like a stain. Really, really a fan of this. This is such a beautiful formula that that sheerness that you get just makes uh, colors that you might not uh, gravitate towards or colors that worry about you whether in brightness or in darkness they make it okay because of that sheerness it's not as deep as some of her other uh, lipsticks another reason I want to do uh, a full video on just the lipsticks that I have because they really do the depth of them changes with the different formulas so really really I might like this more uh, as a stain. It's beautiful either way, but I was really like, oh, really loving that one swipe situation. Very, very pretty. Love the finish. Slight sheen. Really, really nice. And it feels amazing on the lips. Absolutely sits beautifully on the lips. Okay, here are some comparison swatches for Night Thoughts. Um, I don't have many, but these are my moody ones that I have. I have Midnight Velvet here. So this is Night Thoughts, and I have the more saturated velvet. Okay, also a berry color. And then I have Velvet Myth also a berry color. So you see the different uh, finishes, the different saturation levels, uh, beautiful, beautiful colors. They're just different. Okay, you know what? Before I go on, I'm actually curious about this color. Uh, I'm gonna wipe it on my hand and maybe take it from there. I'm curious uh, about this color as a blush. Cause I don't have a lot of, you know, deep, purpley colors as a blush and why not I said I needed some color instead of doing like a a bright one and dimming it out let's go with a darker color and see if it works might require a little bit more but that's okay very pretty as much as I love berry blushes, I don't have that many. Can anybody recommend, do you have a favorite berry colored uh, blush? They're not always easy to find. A lot of pinks, a lot of corals. Not enough berries in the world. Okay, I like this as a blush. I'm gonna leave this one on this cheek as a blush. Let's see if anything else inspires the other cheek. Okay, so next up, is Le Mepri, a beautiful nudie shade. And as I'm checking the site, this one is already out of stock. So there's a really, really popular shade. They're calling it a sublimely nuanced but wearable soft beigey hue that's straight, up a, straight out of a Jean-Luc Godard masterpiece. Think Brigitte Bordeaux, okay? So beautiful, beautiful shade. And here is the swatch. Really, really beautiful, and I know, I know, I know, I'm going to need a lip pencil with it, but I still wanted this light color. Okay, so this is Mepri by itself, and like I said, super nude, washes me out a bit. I mean, but if I want it to be super flat, I could wear it by itself. But I'm going to apply Lisa Eldridge's uh, Enhanced and Defined Lip Pencil in Decade to this lip color. the lip pencil gives me just the depth that I need okay love it love it love it now I don't have a lot of shades that match lip mepri um but I'm going to let's see what I have that's close let's see velvet fawn okay this one looks pretty close one of Lisa's velvet famed velvet uh, lipstick so this is velvet fawn this is mepri and you can see the different texture. So this is velvet. This is the uh, luxuriously, luxuriously lucent color here. So you see that sheen on it. Okay, so that's Velvet Fawn. The only other one um, I have that might be close is Velvet Intrigue, okay? And even that is a completely different shade. So this is Mepri in the, uh, the middle, 
Velvet Intrigue here and Velvet Fawn. Okay, so three colors. This is just giving you some, also a hint uh, about what the, the Lisa Le Eldridge try on vid will be. I do have a lot of pinks. I have berries. I have some brights. I have some browns. So I really do have a, a, a nice range of Lisa Eldridge lip colors. Cut coral in there, peachy colors in there. Uh, okay, so that's it for those comparison swatches. Here are three, and we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's go bright with this beauty, New Wave. Look at how bright this is, a magenta color. Let's see what they're saying. Is an unashamedly bold magenta, modern yet classic, subversive yet soft. With its cool blue undertones, this statement cyclamen shade is shot through with edgy glamour and an electronica chic. Super bright. This is so unlike me. This is my first insanely saturated lip color. Okay, this is the first one of the insanely saturated. Now something she said, when trying this on, don't have it fully up. It's going to be a lot of color. So just don't put the bullet fully up. Here we go. And this is the reason it's my first one is because the other colors, I think there are only five now, the other colors are more reddish uh, colors and I'm not a red person. She did release a pink shade that is kind of calling me, we'll see. Oh, excited. Let's try this one on now. Now this is a color, I can't wait to show my husband this one because he doesn't love the bright lipsticks. This is bright and I love it, it's so beautiful. I'm trying to push myself out my comfort zone, especially with lipsticks, okay? I, I love nudes, I do love my browns, I do love certain colors, but every now and again, you want a little bit of color. And for those of us who don't like reds, you know, we have to find our color other places and this, Fantastic, wonderful bit of color. Woo! They're gonna see me coming. Okay, you will be noticed before you enter the room if they can see you in the corridor. This is this is speaking for you before you get there. I love it. And I'm this is the one I want to try on my cheeks. I have to know. I just have to know. Uh let's see how this one works. Uh how do I want to do it? I'll put it on my finger. Thinking a little bit's gonna go a hell of a long way. Leave it like that, like baby Jane. Beautiful. Where's my brush? A beautiful bit of color. Just bring it up. So now you can sort of see the lipstick blended out, how it blends out. I suppose if I just dab it on just a little bit, Obviously it won't be as potent, but then why would I have bought one of these uh, formulas if I didn't want it to be, to make a statement? You know what I mean? This is not one that's supposed to be shy. Go for it with these colors. Very, very pretty. Also, as a nice little bit of color on the cheeks, okay? Not mad at this, this is so fun. It's fun when you go outside your comfort zone. This is so fun. So this is New Wave, can't say it enough. The blue undertones do whiten the teeth. Okay, it just makes everything, oh, it looks electric, crazy. I love magenta anyway, so happy with this one. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to try with the two brightest lipsticks I have from Lisa. First up, Love of My Life. Let's see what that one looks like against this. So Love of My Life is also, uh, I think this is a, which one is this? I think this is a lucent lip color as well. Love of My Life is here, this is New Wave, okay? And the New Wave does have like a more uh, velvety texture, okay? So we have these two, and then the other brightest one I have, and it's not looking so, so bright right now, but Velvet Myth. I always marvel at the texture of the velvet uh, lipsticks. So Velvet Myth is here, Love of My Life, and then we have New Wave in the middle. So those are my three bright, Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, three different textures, three different saturation levels. 
I mean, you, you, like I said, you've got options with Lisa Eldridge. And I'll be trying all these on soon in a video. And my lips are going to be screaming because of it. But I want it to be on camera. I want you all to see the beautiful diversity in Liz, Lisa's uh, lipsticks. Just quickly before I move on, just what's coming up in Lisa Eldridge world, which I'm super excited about. She's gonna have more of those Lorex um, liquid eyeshadows coming out in some stunning colors uh, in a couple of weeks, in just a couple of weeks. So I, when I get my hands on, there's one specific color that I have my eye on and it looks like all the shades are named after uh, female writers which excites me because the one I have my eye on most is a writer near and dear to my heart. So in a couple of weeks, I hope to uh, bring you those products. She has brushes coming. I was told that the brushes would be later in the year. Um, eye brushes and different brushes. I wish we they could have coordinated the different uh, products releasing with the brushes, but so goes life, they're coming. And then who knows what else? There's always surprises up Lisa's uh, sleeve. I know next year, I believe that the blushes will be back. The blushes will be back next year. Let's hope that they've corrected the uh, the application, the applicator, because it was, it was there were some issues there, but that's what's coming up next. I'm excited to get these eye products, but in the meantime, let's get to this final, final, lipstick and i'm gonna finish it off with this butte meet me in berlin which they describe as a deliciously rich tan shade which delivers to various intensities as a brown nude across all skin tones this is the one that i was most excited to try of course, of course it's a brown right of course it's a brown i am so excited and you know what else is cool the, the story that lisa told about the inspiration for this shade she was doing a photo shoot in uh, in Berlin, I think she said in the 90s, and she described the mood and you just kind of were able to put yourself there and, and get exactly what she was talking about and the grunge and the different things. So that was the inspiration for this shade. I am a, you know, teenage years in the 90s. When I started playing with makeup, it was in the 90s. I will always fall back on brown lip products. I've always loved them. Brown lip pencils, I have always loved them. It's just part of my growing up years and something something with fond memories, these brown lip shades, okay? So super excited to get this one on the lips. Let's do that now. So it does say that there are different intensities, so I'll put it on with a little bit first, let you guys see it, and then I'll continue to apply. This shade is completely a bit of me, okay, completely. I love it, and because of the pigmentation on my lips, it's going to obviously yield different results for different people, but this is such a beautiful brown shade. These these uh, luxuriously lucent lipstick, if I didn't tell you that, this one was also a luxuriously lucent lipstick, okay? So it is sheer uh, a sheer coverage, but it can be built up and they feel like nothing on the lips. So pleasant, so, so, so pleasant. Soft, uh, it feels moisturizing. Really, really nice creaminess to the lips. But this shade, mm, 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 my kind of brown, my kind of brown. Subtle, I love the sheer, the sheerness to this brown. Just really gives a nice little something different to it, a nude on me. I will not use a pencil just like this. Put this on my lips and go excited. Now I need this one built up. I, I showed you when I put on like one layer, uh, one, I don't know, one, maybe it was two swipes. Uh, that was more like a, like a, almost like a lip balmy kind of thing. This one is giving a bit more coverage when I kept going over it. Love the shade. Let's see what other browns I have, okay? I don't have, I don't think I have many colors that really match this one. This is a completely different brown. It is brown. This is Decade, Velvet Decade up here. Okay, this is uh, Nights in Berlin. No, Meet Me in Berlin. Meet Me in Berlin. This is Velvet Decade. Um, let's see, Painterly like a brownie pink maybe painterly 
is on this side of it. I really don't have, I guess, that many, as many browns as I thought I did. Velvet Affair also has brown in it, so it kind of leans brown. Velvet Affair is here. And again, this is the one I have on my lips, Meet Me in Berlin. Okay, so we'll leave it there. There are some comparison swatches. Okay guys, you have to let me know what lip colors you got from this release. Tell me what your favorite Lisa Eldridge lipstick shade is in general. Do you have a, a favorite formula? Let me know in the comments below. I don't have anything more to add. I love all four of these. I am quite the fan of her makeup and her lipsticks specifically are just beautiful. And we do have options in terms of finishes, textures, formulas. She really has built herself a beautiful uh, collection with so many shades. Shades, so anyone will be able to find some shade uh, that, that fits them and their personality. Uh, so yeah, I want to hear from you. What did you get from this collection? If you didn't get anything, what is your favorite Lisa Eldridge lipstick? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I do appreciate it when you do. And if you want to check out any of our boho head wraps, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, and all our other hair accessories, just visit us at brizzytea.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.